good day guys and welcome again to my channel i am joshua the designer i create amazing content on civil structural engineering and in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to transfer your load from slab to beams right so um after you might have estimated your loads on your slab um you may want to transfer um, equivalent loads um to beams surrounding beams and um, this video will just help you know how to transfer loadings from your slab to beams now if you're new to my channel you may want to like the video and subscribe to this channel and share with your colleagues that should get better with structural engineering and we all are good that way all right quickly to start um the discussion our loadings the loadings on our slabs are being transferred to supporting beams um, usually as line loads so our slab loadings are being transferred to beams to beams usually as line loads now depending on your method of analysis depending on your method of analysis there are various ways we we go about the load transfer now one of the ways that we um, adopt the methods actually that we adopt for load transfer um, is the yield line method yield line method another method that we use is the finite element finite elements method then we also have uh, the formulas which are approximate methods formulas they are approximate method this one will give you approximate values and which is still actually um, in the range with which your loads um, would be transferred right for but, but for the purpose of our communication um, in this class we would use um, some mathematical formulas uh, which are obtained by the system of the yield line so from the yield lines we actually um, will be able to transfer our loadings using uh, certain formulas how do i mean you see um the in the yield line method loads are being um or lines are being constructed around our slabs um usually at 45 degree angles so let, let's take let's take um a particular case right here so let's assume we have a slab in this form right and um let's let's give it dimension so this is going to be six meters then we have another year let's assume this is going to be seven meters right and following our aspect ratio we know that for our aspect ratio ly over lx would give me seven over six and that is 1.17 which is less than 2.0 and by now you should know that um, if the value of this ratio ly over lx is less than 2.0 it is a two-way slab right then if otherwise we have one way now, so to say, our partic this particular slab we are considering um, is going to be a two-way two slab, right? So, now being a two-way slab means that our loads are from the slab is being transferred to um, surrounding beams, right? So, the load from this particular slab is being transferred to surrounding, surrounding beams, right? Great now um to make it so clear i talked about the yield line method and in the yield line method i said um lines are being constructed usually at um 45 
degree angles on the slab and um, the corresponding load on each part of the heat line are being transferred to the beams um, adjacent to it. Right, so we'll take um, an example here. Now, in the construction of heat lines, we would have to generate um, lines of certain shapes, right? So let, let's just take this, it's, it's just practical as, um, as much as you need to understand. Right, so let's construct a heat line and see. So you wouldn't mind my angles, but then you would understand, like I said, that heat lines are being constructed at angle 45. So at angle 45 degrees. Right. So constructing these lines will have something. Oh my. I want it to be a little. Okay, right. Yes, for this. And um, it goes right like this to this. Let me make it a little bit better right so what i'm trying to say is this these things are not curves they are not curves they are straight lines uh, but uh, let me see if i can actually make something um better so that you can actually understand what i'm saying right if there was something better. Let's see. Okay. 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 So we should have something better so that you can appropriately relate with what I'm saying. Yes, great. So we'll duplicate this to the other side. Then we rotate this just perfect so it's better i do this so that you can understand instead of my free sketch all right okay great so the system of the load transfer uh, by the heat line method is going to help us um, transfer the loads from our slab to a beams adjacent to it okay great so we'll have something more so we'll have something like this never mind okay yes now you see what we have here is a, a system with which our loads are being transferred to our beams then it's going to be in this kind of pattern loads from this angle we transfer to the beams on this side and on this side then this to the side just this way then this just this way In just this way so this is exactly how the distribution works then we have these lines are at 45 degrees like I said the other time at 45 degrees now um, how do we then do this transfer accurately with our formulas now the in the heat line um, method eventually you're going to arrive at uh, certain shapes for different um, parts of your beams right so for example this region forms a triangular triangular load this region forms a trapezoidal load right so we are going to arrive at, at trapezoidal and also 
triangular. Now, these two has special formulas with which we transfer loadings, right, from the slab panel to adjacent beams. Now, I will take a particular um, um, case so that we can transfer loadings and you understand all these things appropriately. First, I said we are going to we are adopting the heat line method, which will actually help us. Um, construct lines that would segment our slab panels into different shapes, which is tri trapezoidal, like I said, and um, triangular. And there are special formulas with which we can transfer loadings from the slab panel to respective beams. Now we know that we have beams all around. We have, if we will be able to put a figure A, B. C, D. And also we have beam AB, we have beam BC, we have beam CD, and we have beam AD. Alright, so let's see how we can transfer loadings from this. Now we have a particular question here. It says we should we should uh, we have two way slab of dimi dimension seven meters by six meters supported by beams on all sides and supported subjected to a load of 13 kilonewton per meter square two way slab of dimension seven meters by six meters supported by beams on all sides and subjected to a load of 13 kilonewton per meter square right so let's let's get it, let's get to do that right away. Right. So I need to take this off. So um to have this done, we just need to understand the formulas and the shapes with which we are considering. So the first one we want to do now is for the trapezoidal load. Now this region A, B, C, D is to be transferred. So let me have E, F here. So for the trapezoidal shape, we have A, B, F, E, however you may want to call it, A, B, F, E. Now for the long span, um, for, for this transfer now, um, we have, you know, that is some um, long span actually. The formula to be used is um, N, L, X over 2 into bracket. 1 minus 1 over 3k squared. Now, where our k is ly over lx, as we have just done formally, then we obtained 1.17, the ratio of the long span to the short span, 1.17. So, if we apply this to uh, case that we have here we have the n is um, 13 kilonewton per meter square as we have been given already multiplied by the short span which is 6 divided by 2 then we have 1 minus 1 over 3 into bracket 1.17 square Now, this would give us, if you do that very well, you should have 29.45 kilonewton per meters. Now, this is for the long span which forms a trapezoidia. Now, for the short span, which is a triangular load 
triangular load. This one we have NLX over 3. And our N have been given 13 kN per meter multiplied by the LX, which is the short span, 6 over 3. Doing this, you will have 26 kN per meter. So this gives us a sum summary that transferring load from a trapezoidal shape to the long side of your panel, a formula NLX over 2 into bracket 1 minus 1 over 3k square should be used. Then for a triangular load, you have NLX over 3. Now this apply this applies to a two way slab. In the next video I'll be showing you how to transfer your loadings on one way slab. If there's any questions you will need to pass on, I'll be in the comment section. Ensure that you send your comments and your questions in. I would um, attend to them all. Do not forget to like this video and share. Subscribe to this channel. We'll meet in the next video. I am Joshua, the designer. Bye.